Greetings to all of you. A warm welcome to all of you in this Christmas season. Today I'm gonna talk about of the life very short of Saint Elizabeth Seton. This is your Pastor Yeti. During the week of Epiphany, when we celebrate Christ's manifestation to the Gentiles, we are represented by the Magi, or wise men. Catholics in America, and I think it's much more than in America, commemorate three saints of their own. Each one uniquely represents the Christian's life as it may be lived in modern times and in a very real way. The passage of centuries has not made the lives of these great Christians static or remote. Like stained glass windows of St. Francis or St. Teresa. We are so much closer in time to these three saints from North America that we have a more realistic picture of them. They lived in the real world that we know. All of them used steam travel, and one even used an automobile. So often times remove some of the realism of the saints of the past. Saint Elizabeth Sutton was a convert, mother, widow, and founder of a religious community, the Sisters of Charity. She raised five children and cared for most of them as she had for her husband when they were dying of tuberculosis. She was born into a prominent Episcopalian family in New York in 1774. Following her husband's death, she was drawn to enter the ten despised Catholic Church when she was 31. Having been greatly impressed by the devotion to the presence of Christ and the Eucharist she had observed in Italy. In line with our thinking about how to be a real Christian, it must be said of this interpite woman that she rarely missed a chance to do so. Her life is a litany of opportunities to follow Christ and his gospel with unflinching determination, teaching, serving the poor, preparing her beloved children for death without complaints. If you are listening to this meditation, 
Saint Elizabeth has some suggestions for you. Never say no when you can say yes to an opportunity to serve God and his children. Think about that. And when disasters occur, don't feel resentful and ill-used and complain that they shouldn't happen to you because you are a faithful Christian. Elizabeth felt her mother's heart break as apprehension turned to the terrible certainty that one after another of her children did not just have a cold but that they would cough themselves into the grave as her husband had. She did not complain. She did not ask why, instead she said and asked, what should I do? As one of the millions of American Christians who learned about the Christian's life from the sisters and daughters of charity, I can only pray that the spirit of these great Christian women, religious who taught me in several different communities, will return to us to its former strength. Sure, some of the sisters did not achieve the highest spiritual goals. Some were grabby and some were a bit twisted. But after 50 years, and this is the testimony of the author, I am moved to tears when I think of a number of great interpret sisters I have known. Saint Elizabeth translated a treatise on interior peace by Father Ambrose de Lombes, an 18th century French Capuchin writer. The following line from her translation is a practical thought for any day on your journey. The love of God produces submission of our will to all the orders of His providence, and our submission preserves us in a holy tranquility amidst the most painful reverses and an admirable equilibrium of mind through the greatest agitations and most cruel vicissitudes of life. I know there are so more many saints. I remember how important you are in the eyes of God. And as I said in the beginning, not all achieve that great work. But as I said in my other Christmas season meditation, everyone has a call. And who do
Do you answer this call? Pray with me, Lord Jesus. Give me a strong and firm faith, even in the face of adversity or tragedy. Let me not be deterred by the recognition that I must carry the crosses that everyone else carries, even unbelievers. Help me to know that the differences comes from the faith in which we do these things and the love with which we accept them. My beautiful people, as soon as we heard saints, maybe it sees you and fast to think, well, the saints, well, they probably do a great, did great things and great works for God, and they had a higher calling than I have. Well, please be careful with this, because in every life, there's a calling that reach out to one another. And what is your calling? As Elizabeth took care of her own children who died and her husband who died, she raised the first Catholic system, Catholic school system, and she did maybe much more. Well, that is just one example, and we have so many other people present in this life. We're doing so much. But let us, for us, be a a witness to look at them and to learn from them. How Christ works and still works through their lives. So he is also working through your life. May God bless your heart. This is your Pastor Yeti.